Aditya Birla Group unveils its new campaign, an epic commercial backed by an epic team. Aditya Birla Group has launched its third corporate campaign, Let's Reach for the Sun. The last two campaigns focused on our group as an Indian multinational conglomerate. Our last campaign was on the air for over two years. During this time, our group, under the leadership of our chairman, Mr. Kumar Mangalam Birla, has become a truly global conglomerate. From being present in eight countries, we now operate in 25 countries. Speaking on the commercial, Dr. Pragnya Ram, Group Executive President, Aditya Birla Group, Corporate Communications said, The diversity and ethnicity that our group represents is very large. We needed to capture this aspect. Importantly, we wanted to highlight the fact that despite this diversity, 30 nationalities, we are one group, one team with one voice, with the stretch aspiration of reaching for the sun. With this as our theme, we went out and looked for the right partners. We started to look around for the right production house who would guide us to the right director. And very fortunate to be working with OMG and you know Somain, who actually helped us then you know work with uh, Matthias. When we got the script from the agency, we knew this script belongs to Matthias. He's a wonderful director, one of the best in Europe. Zentner, the director has received numerous awards, such as the New York Festivals, London International Advertising Awards, Sachi and Sachi, Young Guns Award, Cannes Lions, ADC Germany, ADC New York, Promax, and BDA, to name a few. VGC then incorporated the shift of strategy into a superlative creative language. The key was to maintain the thematic visual continuity with the previous films and yet speak a fresh story. <laughs> Using music as a metaphor, they created a board that brought to life the essence of the brief. Matthias actually had guided us into a treatment which not only articulated a whole visual orchestra, of sound but also of people and this time around we have a lot of human faces of different backgrounds of different age groups and different genders we started doing the location reiki and and we thought that thailand would be the perfect shooting destination for us various remote locations were used to recreate geographic diversities representing different cultures with this, in partnership with a fantastic team, right from a great director, from a production house, to great models, and a crew which worked like clockwork to deliver every bit of detail which was required out of the film. There were no compromises made, yet everything was done on time. Everything was delivered to perfection. The first shot is composed of a tree, which is considered the world's second largest, which bears bells instead of fruit. The art director installed over 100 bells that are later seen enhanced in 3D. In the Indian sequence, it was important to bring to life a quintessential Indian motif, which is through the temple bell. But at the same time, to get a surreal sort of a canvas, which is a tree, which is like a temple, I mean, which is like an ecosystem. Towards the crescendo, we reveal that the tree has the shape of a face. Sunlight strikes through the tree, while the boy still plays with the orchestra of bells. There is a place where you will see a conductor who is conducting an orchestra, except that the orchestra is made of birds. It is actually symbolic of a chorus, which is again part of speaking with one voice being illustrated. 
we had actually got 20,000 birds. So that we make the shot really real. We were actually sending them in lots of 5,000 at, at one shot. So they were trying to capture those uh, natural movement of the birds. The most important thing about the film was that whilst the music is being played by different people from around the world, they're really using unusual instruments, you know, which is really in keeping with her surreal treatment. We see a sequence where there's an orchestra which is playing with the reeds, with the elements. We discover four beautiful people on two small islands clustered with reeds. They are seen playing on the reeds in a manner portrayed to be an orchestra consisting of violins and a double bass. With a crescendo, emphasis is given to the lone woman on the second island. Her intensity of the interpretation becomes stronger. The Egyptian sequence really is about playing music with water, representing a harp, which is really originally an instrument from Egypt. So we thought it would be an apt expression to use for the Egyptian sequence. The water creates imagery of the strings of a harp. The sun slides in and a rainbow is formed between the water lines. This rainbow enhances higher notes for the orchestral piece. And as we move away, we see that the entire area is above the clouds, making it a very surreal world above the sky. Every setup in this film had his own unique musical identity. We move to a sequence which is really about their presence in, in Thailand, which is again represented by percussion being played on bamboo reeds. We created different setups within the bamboo forest. Using 5,000 bamboo sticks, we created multiple rows, making it possible for the oriental performers to fly through the forest and hit the bamboo trees with sticks, creating a rhythm. We see towards the crescendo, the musician hitting the bamboos, which are arranged in a circular path. As the beat goes faster, they start to levitate upwards, carried by the beat. In the next set, we're in the middle of the bamboo forest, where three athletic musicians are hitting massive drums with drumsticks, creating beats that accentuate the music. The Chinese section comes alive as a tattoo, which is on the back of, an, of a Chinese drummer. And as the film gets into a climax, the dragon comes alive and there is fire that comes out from, its, from his mouth, encircles the drum, transforms itself into the logo. And all of these elements come together to form the one unified whole, which is Aditya Billa Group, the logo. The sets were designed by Suchartanan, Kai Kulkadi, a Hollywood-based art director who has earned the distinction of working on two Oscar-nominated films, Rocky and The Beach. No compromises were made, no demand was ever refused. Every detail was paid attention to. Tremendous amount of passion went into making this film from everybody on the set and off it. But it was absolutely, absolutely a, a terrific and wonderful experience to pull off this project. In the mood of the film, there are no boundaries of imagination and it is a question of will and wish to make things happen. This impulse and the impact of the film transfers the power of pictures and the emotional involvement of the music.
Aditya Birla Group. Let's reach for the sun.